Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. I hope everyone is okay. I hope once I'm so we know. Um I think you know you know me, Sarafina. And um really can I thank you for giving us an opportunity at least to, to be live on your page and uh <laughs> anyway. So the reason why I came uh on this live, I just wanted to share the side of the story of the John Chandachimba thing because it's trending and I've received a lot of calls and it's just been crazy. My phones I can pop with it. So I just wanted to give my side of the story because it's like people are now thinking otherwise. So I just want to make sure that I clarify a lot of things uh using uh, this opportunity that I've been given. So first and foremost I'll start with the whole scenario. Uh, John and I are good friends. We are very good friends. So, you know, we we'll joke about certain things, we we'll talk about certain things, you know, friendship. So, John, uh, there's, he wrote something on social media. So, after him writing something on social media, I got what he wrote and posted in a certain group that we have. We debate on certain things. So, I said, John, this is not right. Why are you doing this? Then John goes by sending me uh, a message and start attacking me, insulting me, uh, and stuff like that. So from there I said, ah, anyway, let, let me just avoid this. Because me, I'm a public, I'm a public figure. And I, I wouldn't like to ex start exchanging words with him. And he's a good friend of mine. And I respect that. There's a relationship going on. He's my friend. Let me make this clear. So from there, I thought that that was it. He spoke to me. We talked. And I said, okay, fine, I'm not going to exchange words with you, John. I blocked John. So the time that was happening, the time I was, I was coming from uh, uh, Kitwe. Yeah. So the time I reached Lusaka, that was on a, I, I reached uh, Thursday, Friday, um, because I'm, a, I, I'm not always found in malls and stuff like that. So I said, okay, fine, let me go by Twin Bamoto, just grab some, some, something to, to, to have for supper. Then from there, um then John came with his car and then as I was coming back from the ATM, I went to the ATM to get some money for food. Because you know, I'm not someone who like cooking and the like that. Either way, so the time I was coming back from the ATM, John saw me with his car and ran me over, grabbed my hand while he was reversing and squeezed my hand. And then I was like, John, but why are you doing this? Then John got a big, big stone and tried to hit me. But the good part is that I ran to the car and then it hit on the window of the car. And that's how come we drove off and we went to the police station. And from there, I, I decided, in fact, before the police station, I rushed home, traumatized. I was crying and everything. I was really, really disturbed because that has never, you know, I'm, I'm a victim of GBV. I know how it is. For a woman to be beaten without any proper reason. So if someone out there is listening and would tell me to say, why would someone want to kill you over a screenshot? So John was like, the time he was attacking me, he was like, nah, quit party. no one can do anything to me and stuff like that. I'm going to deal with you, I'm going to kill you. And he got a stone and hit me, hit the car. Uh, he was trying to hit me then, hit the window. The car then we drove off. I went home, cried, cried, cried. I was like, no, this is wrong. Then I went to the police station and I was given two medicals. One for traffic for bashing me. I had a very swollen leg. And I just want to thank the, the doctors at Levy Hospital. They, they really attended to me. My BP was really high. I was almost admitted. But I just said, no, guys, I'll be okay. And I was given some medication. Then my medical was signed, uh, both by the poly, uh, both by traffic and the physical medical. And uh, the swelling. Uh, risk. So from there, um, it has just been crazy. The police took up the matter and they started investigating. And then we even went to the, the, the scene. We went to the crime scene and that's how come John was arrested yesterday and right now he's on board. I just want to make this clear. I just want to make this clear once and for all. Mutale has got nothing to do with this issue. Mm -hmm. Hotel has got nothing to do with this issue. It's between me and John. So I don't know. I, I see no reason why people are dragging Mutale in this. 
And I think the only uh, mistake that probably Mutale made was just after the whole incident, Mutale picked up the call and called John. John, why are you trying to do this? Like, you know, John is our friend. So we wanted to, we, we wanted to know why he was doing that. Then Mutale picked up the call and called John. John, why, why are you attacking Serafina from nowhere? And that's the only mistake that Mutale made. And not knowing I was recording the whole conversation, and that's the reason why you've seen all those recordings on social media and everywhere and everywhere but otherwise i just want to make this clear this is between me and john john almost killed me i almost lost my life and it's not because of motale no they're just trying to bring motale up for no reason she's very innocent and right now the matter is still in uh, the, the police are still with the matter and this matter when i'm not going to race until it goes to court i just want to appeal to uh uh, everyone there you know we've seen the escalating cases of people killing each other in this country it's becoming too much and for me a blogger and a victim of gbv i just want to appeal to charity katanga you know first ever in our zambian history we've got a female uh we've got a female ig operation so i just want to appeal to you madam katanga to see that this matter uh, at least you protect us women. We are women and we need to be protected. Uh, I've noticed the, 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 the killings happening in our society. It's just too much. And enough is enough. This is a time where women are protected. Women's rights are protected. Me being a victim of someone trying to, to kill me and telling me to say the police cannot do anything. So I'm just appealing you to you, Miss Katanga, to step in and make sure that our rights are protected as women because women play a very very important role in our society so i think for now i just want to appeal to every woman who's going through what i went through to step in stand up fight for your rights because you know this thing of beating killing it won't, it won't stop when we don't talk about it so i think i just want to thank you guys for your support you've been supporting me throughout my journey and you are the reason why i'm here because of you i'm here because of you i'm Sarafina and Tenga. and i'm not going to allow someone just to come from nowhere over a screenshot and to try and attack me over something a screenshot you can't kill someone over a screenshot you know these are some of the issues that we forget by pilo muntu pabwadi inshi inshi and stuff like that but we need to stand up. We need to say no to GBV. This is not the Zambia that I want. And for me, I will be updating you so that you hear from me every time. I'll keep updating you. But the matter, I'm sure by uh, Friday, it should go to court. And I just want to uh, say thank you to every person that called through to find out how I am. I'm okay. And we thank God. And uh, I pray that God will... We'll just bring love, you know. Love and peace is what I call for. Because I'm a peacemaker, I'm a love maker. And I, I think let's say no to cyberbullying because it's too much. Uh, you can find that most of the pages, we need to preach love and peace. You know, if you've got a problem, you come to me. I'm able to help you because I've got the resources to help you. If I don't manage, I tell you, babe, I don't have resources. Let's hold hands. Love, peace, let's preach love peace to one another women let's stand up let's hold hands and say no to gbv let's hold hands and fight for our rights let's hold hands and help a fellow woman so i think um for me my story my journey and what i've been through in my life those people that have been following me been following my page will understand and tell you what i've gone through in my past relationships and i think that's why i just want to say thank you once more for the opportunity and the love that you've given me. So from me, Sarafina and Tenga, it's bye.